Janae the Scammer, you ain't shit. Hey guys, it's your girl, Miss Ann Little Cole, and I'm back. And I'm going to do just one more video before I head out to work this afternoon. So basically, everybody is talking about this manager named Janae, calling her Janae the scammer, Janae the fraud manager, scam people. Let me tell you something. I've known about Janae going back to the, towards the latter part of 2016 because she basically was the manager of DM, um, DMB Nation, which is Damien and Bianca. I can't stand those two, but that's a separate video. But what I did know is that she was also the manager of Chris and Queen, Naja, also the um, these people, this group of people that did laughs, um, Armand and Tay, I forget their names, Armand and Tay, and also, your real faves, blame it on Quay and Lala Scissorhands. So we all know Janae was racking in the dough. She was taking a bag. She got multiple bags off of those people. You know, if she's getting 10% a cut of every um, appearance they're doing, all of the um, the videos they're doing, she getting cuts of that. Janae's bag is very, very full. It is flowing it is breaking. She probably doesn't have a bag. She probably has a glass freaking box with a whole bunch of money in it. Okay, she probably has a glass case. Let's keep it real. Now, I don't like Janae. And it has nothing to do with the scamming. I don't like Janae because I believe Janae is a handler. Not like Chris NYC is handling Queen Naja. But a more dangerous in depth handler. I'm gonna explain. I believe Queen Naja, I'm not Queen Naja, I believe Janae is, and y'all could rag on me all y'all want, but I believe that she's part of the sisterhood. And I'm gonna tell you why. Janae scouts for talent. Nobody goes to Janae. Janae goes to you if your channel is popping. Janae came to DMB Nation. She went to Queen and Chris. She went to Blame It On Quay and Lala Scissorhands. She came to those people. A lot of people are going to think that she came to them for the money. It's not for them so much for the money. What it is is that she's there to basically bring you in, to try to bring you in into selling your soul. And if you don't oblige she will try to have your channel taken down or she'll mess with your money and mess with your views or not mess with you but she'll go back to the people and say they don't want to do it they don't want to like get down with the program because basically a lot of people thought that they could be famous on youtube without having to sell their soul no if you want to just make a small youtube channel do what i'm doing they're not going to come to you you're safer off making just, you know, a year or two, making like 50,000, 100,000, even like, like half a million a year. But when you start making $200,000 a month, they come to you. And if you don't do it, they'll start messing with your views. There was a comedian that used to be part of All Dev Digital. I can't think of his name right now, but I'm going I'm to search his name and I'm going to come back to y'all with it. He went out to Hollywood, was in a movie, had all the entertainers looking up for him. He didn't want to do it because he saw strange things. He met white people that didn't look normal. That's what he said in the video. And all of a sudden, his view counts got messed up. His subscribers list got messed up because he didn't want to fit in the program. But Janae is a handler and she's part of Sisterhood. So basically, a video with DB Nation when they were going to sign a contract with this white man... It was like a prank, but it was a prank on Damien. Damien didn't know it was a prank. And in the video, the, the white man who had the contract for them to sign, for them to blow up and, and make a whole bunch of money, he told Damien that he was going to have to do all this stuff to get in. Now, even though in the video it was a prank, actuality, it was real. 
she was trying to bring them in, but she lied to them, to Damien. Bianca kind of knew what it was, but Damien really didn't know. And she lied to him to get put on. Also, the robbery video with DMB Nation, when their house was supposed to be robbed, Damien didn't know about that. <clears throat> but Janae was all involved with Janae and her husband. So Janae is one of these, I believe Janae is one of these people that, that, that kind of like had people amped up with the pranks. And a lot of people that do those prank videos, these kids do it. And a lot of these kids have died from the pranks. So Janae, I got my issues with her on a lot of shit. Now, the scammer thing, I'm not surprised at. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if you look at the video with Neek and King, Neek said that they were doing good. They had their own manager. She came out the woodwork and said, oh, you know, my name is so-and-so. I'm Janae. And basically, I see that y'all blowing up. And I could I could take y'all to new heights. I could basically get y'all popping. And y'all could make even more money than I'm making. That's not the truth. They were Neek and, Neek and um, what's his name? Neek and King was doing good. They didn't need her. But the problem was they wanted that money. So they saw an opportunity to make it big. Now, check it out. All of a sudden, they get put on. She makes them big. She supposedly makes them big, but she's not really doing anything but taking their money and taking his own. Okay? Then come to find out, she wasn't just scamming them. She was scamming a whole lot of people. The list goes on and on. Now, her daughter, this is Ari, she said something that was very profound. What she said was this. That contract that y'all posted up, that's not the contract that we signed. And when I mean we, I mean us. And when she was talking about us, she was talking about her and her family. Okay? Which means that Ari ain't going to be scammed because that's her daughter. And let me say something. Ari know what her mama doing. Okay? But Neek and, Neek and King, they were part of a new team because what happened was a lot of people moved on. We all know Chris and Queen, they broke up. Queen is being managed by Clara's sister, like I just said in the previous video. Also, I believe, blame it on Quay and Lala, I think they got a new management team too. Also, too, I think um, I think DMB Nation is still under her. I think they're the only ones that's still under her. But besides that, to be honest with you, what the fuck do you need a manager for? On YouTube, think about it this way. If you're not thinking about having a manager, why she want a manager? One, because she wants the money for herself. And two, she's trying to bring you into the team. She's trying to bring you into selling your soul. And this has been talked about for, for like years. I would say for like the past four years. And people that do it, a lot of times they're not happy with it. They're not happy with it because they, all of a sudden they're under a microscope. They got to toe the line. They got it because they want to go Hollywood. And it's not worth it at the end of the day. Because first of all, think about, okay, I'm going to tell y'all a story about this woman. There was a girl, I can't think of her name. I can't think of her name right now. But you know what? I'm going I'm to I'm change it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about that on another video. There was, there's a, um, there's a lot of people on YouTube, like Fousey Tube, um, Lily Singh, PewDiePie. Now, PewDiePie is the only one that he ain't trying to go Hollywood because he is the biggest YouTuber. He's the biggest one. Rice Gum, he's big. But Lily Singh and PewDiePie, they went Hollywood. Nothing happens to their careers because they're not going to try to make people big. The only person on YouTube they're really trying to make big right now is Queen Nyjah. And that's in the R&B world. And the only reason why they're trying to do that is because R&B is so bad at the moment. They just letting they just putting anybody on. I'm just, I'm just going to keep it real on that. But with that being said, Janae, the fraud manager, is a scammer. She's a fraud. She's just she's a she's a she's in the sisterhood. She was throwing up all the sisterhood signs. She's corrupting the youth, the minds of the youth, and she going to sell her daughter's soul. And her daughter is ready. And I don't care. I'm gonna be honest with you. 
It's not our concern. Let it happen because they not righteous. They 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 in it for the money. They they the the dollar is their god. And with that being said, this is your girl saying little girl. I'm signing off. Share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like butt button. Comment. And I'll talk to y'all tonight. Peace.